Hey everyone, Ryan from Me Bike Escape. And JT from Me Bike Escape. And in today's video, we're gonna show you some of the top accessories for your XP 3.0. So let's get into it. Before we get into talking about all of these awesome accessories, if you are looking to purchase a electric model, we'd really appreciate it if you use our link in the description before you make your purchase. It's a free and easy way to help support the channel and makes videos like this one possible. There will also be a link to a blog post with a list of all of the accessories we're gonna talk about today. We'll also include links to our full electric bike accessories list, top e-bike brands page, and finally our electric bike discounts code page where we track all the deals on the electric bike brands that we follow. With that, let's give this electric 3.0 a walk around, we'll talk about all of the accessories, some offered by Electric and some that we've handpicked, some I've been using for years, and some new accessories that I'm super excited about. With that, let's start in the front of the bike. Yeah, we'll give you a look at the all new Electric Elite headlight. So this is probably one of the brighter headlights that we've seen available from a bike manufacturer. This is a purchasable accessory on top of your bike, but Electric does tend to include it from time to time. So be sure to keep an eye on their page. It's a really nice accessory. Of course, we do recommend a handlebar mounted light with maybe a flashing function for the best visibility to other motors on the road. But if you're just trying to have some ability to see on the road, the Elite headlight is definitely a great option for that. Up here in the front, we also have the front car cargo basket. This is the small cargo basket and it mounts to the electric front rack. One thing to note about this is you do have to move the headlight to the front of the basket so you lose the ability for it to turn. And another thing with this elite headlight being so massive, I did have to bolt it on here and bend up the bracket a little bit just to give me a little bit extra tire clearance here that I was comfortable with. As JT mentioned, we also have the large basket. Now you can mount the large one in the front or the rear and vice versa with the small one. Something we wanted to point out is if you have have both of the baskets installed, one in the front and one in the rear, the bike does not fold. But if you use one or the other, it does fold just fine. And we will fold this electric bike towards the end of the video so you can get an idea of how it looks with this front basket installed. And then moving up to the cockpit, we did want to show off the turtleneck stem we have over here. This is a really cool accessory made by a fellow YouTuber named David Brand New. What it does is allows you to quick release your handlebars and it gives you a small stem stub so you can mount something like BMX style handlebars that allow you to really customize the cockpit and kind of limit your reach. So if you needed at a cockpit that was a little bit more adjustable because your arms aren't as long or something like that. This is a great option and it really is an affordable option for most people out there. And fitting it onto any electric bike has been super simple. You just simply unbolt the old stem, bolt this one on. You do need to purchase a BMX style stem or a mountain bike style stem and handlebars separately. We'll have all of this linked in the blog post Ryan was talking about before as well. And one thing I recently saw is those turtleneck stems are available on Amazon. Amazon, which yes. Which is awesome. And there's also a couple options now. He has different height ones. So if you if you can't get the right height out of this, he has a couple taller ones as well. He's really starting to come out with some more product. All right, let's jump into the cockpit. So we have my favorite brand of mirror. This is a Hafni bar end mirror, one of the smaller ones, but I like it because it doesn't come out as far but Hafni sells tons of different bar end mirrors. I'll link a few in the blog post so you can check them out, so you can pick one that you prefer. Now, I do personally find that on the electric bikes that the bar end mirrors work a little bit better than the handlebar mirrors, but if you wanted to, you could slide the controls over and put a Hafni handlebar mounted mirror if you'd prefer. Jumping over to the grips on the 3.0, Electric included these really nice ergonomic grips. We found on this particular model that they moved around quite easily. So we decided to upgrade to some Ergon locking grips. Ergon is a company that is well known in the bike industry and they make these really nice grips. They do come in different colors and different styles. You can get cork ones if you'd prefer. And then of course on the right side, they do make a shorter one to accommodate the throttle. Just to note that you do need to slide over some of the components here on the handlebars to make sure that these lock on properly. And I will say on the Electric 3.0 that I recently unboxed, the grips did not move around, so that might just depend on the bike that you get. Continuing on the cockpit, we have my favorite cell phone mount. 
This is the one that you'll see in almost every single e-bike escape video. This is the Night Eyes Raptor. It's very affordable and it just attaches to the four corners of your phone, no clamping. And so if you have a phone with buttons on the side, you don't have to worry about that. So there's my phone attached. Even a large Pixel 7 with a giant case fits on here just fine and I've had no issues. Big fan of this cell phone mount. While on the topic of phone holding, there's another option here we have is a top tube bag. It has a really nice section here for a phone. It's got some zippers on it if you wanted to be able to store something in here. And inside it's got other Velcro strips it comes with. But one thing we did like is that this Velcro is actually like rubber backed. So it really helps grab onto the top tube and is not gonna scratch or really do anything. And Bike Case is a new company for us. They're actually a Wisconsin based company. So we're really excited to be able to start showcasing some of their products. Just a note on all these Bike Case products that we're talking about, I was able to negotiate a 15% off coupon code exclusively for our viewers. We'll be sure to put that on the screen if you're looking to make a purchase. JT is gonna show you another product that I'm really excited about from Bike Case. So this is a Bike Case battery bag. And the cool thing is, is that in here right now is a electric battery. So it does fit. It's set up like your typical dry bag where you twist the top down and that forms into a little bit of a handle. The material that this bag is made out of is listed as being water resistant and flame resistant. And so the battery simply fits right inside with plenty of room. And it also has some nice Velcro straps here that allow you to maybe attach it to say a rear frame if you're trying to carry around a second battery while you're out riding, but it is a nicely made and thick bag. And we'll be using this bag on our upcoming travels. We'll actually do a video on how we're traveling with our electric bikes. And that's one reason I'm super excited about these bags because it's not really a good idea to just throw a battery in the back of your vehicle. You don't want it getting damaged. And of course you also want to keep any metal away from any of the connectors. Another really cool accessory from Bike Case is this water bottle mount. And what is cool is you can buy one that can mount a normal bottle cage, but they also sell this anywhere mount. And you can see I have our hydro flask and this isn't going anywhere. It fits up to a Nalgene bottle. It also fits regular water bottles. And it also has this BOA-like clamping system to clamp onto any bike water bottle that you happen to be using. It's really sturdy. And again, it has that grip tape. So it's not going anywhere on this frame. And for a bike that doesn't have any bottle cages, this is an awesome accessory. All right, moving up from the bottle cage here, we have the giant seat and suspension seat post here that Electric offers. While we do think that the giant seat is actually pretty comfortable, the suspension seat post is really kind of leaves a bit to be desired. So what we recommend and was one of our favorites is the SR Suntour NCX suspension seat post. This can be had on Amazon for sometimes sub $100. It's a really great seat. One note though, you will have to run a shim on this seat post to get it to fit into the seat tube here, but this by far is our favorite setup for suspension and really adding a little bit extra cush. Also on the subject of seats, Cloud9 sells a bunch of different materials and padding that you can get, but this one has been our favorite. And then I believe Ryan was also recommending there's a Wild G seat, which I think almost is like a massive cup that holds everything up. We track pretty closely the seats that people purchase and there's this Wild G seat. We'll throw a picture on the screen in case you're interested, but those are some of the most popular seats that we see people purchase. Of course, it is personal preference. Perhaps you wanna order a few from Amazon and pick which one fits you best. Moving back from the seat, we have the passenger package. This has been a really cool accessory that Electric has started offering with the XP 3.0. It comes with these handlebars that mount to your seat tube, as well as the rear seat that actually mounts down here. And it's got some really, some quick release mounts under here that just simply thread on. One thing to note about installing this is you will have to remove the bolts that come pre-installed on this seat in order to get it to sit all the way down. So I am just gonna go ahead and unthread it here so we can take it off so we can show you some other cool accessories that mount on here. But the way this works is they comes with these clamp systems that have ridges for the bars. You simply put it in and tighten it and it'll clamp right to the toolie up cage here and up here in between this frame section. As JT was saying, there's screws that come pre-installed. This is where you're going to mount the small or large basket. And another cool thing that the passenger package comes with are these pegs, which of course is really nice because your passenger needs some place to put their feet. Next, we have an accessory that we're using all the time with young kids. This is the Thule Yup Maxi. Now a lot of e-bike brands have compatibility with the Thule seat. So we happen to have a few sitting around 
And this blue actually, it matches the electric blue quite nicely. So when the electric XP 3.0 came out, this is probably one of the things I was most excited about is because we could take our kids out with us on electric 3.0. The way this works is there is a turn knob and turning this to the right locks the seat in place. And there also comes with a key so you can lock the seat. And then you'll wanna take this extra strap and wrap it around the seat post, of course, that is for safety. On the channel, we get tons of questions about locks. And of course, it's going to be highly dependent on where you live. And of course, no lock is completely secure, but I thought I would showcase a few. For a low to medium security lock, the electric folding lock is a decent option, though it does offer just some basic security. There are some other folding locks that offer higher security ratings. I also really like the Abus Bordo Big Alarm. I've been using that folding lock quite a bit and it has a built-in alarm as the name implies. I brought over some other locks that you might wanna consider. This is a U-lock. The only challenge with this is if you have a bulky electric bike, you might not just be able to get close enough to the bike rack. And so that's going to be dependent on where you're locking up your electric bike. But this is an option. This is from Kryptonite, another really great brand in the security space. But here are some of the locks that I find ourselves using quite a bit. This one is from Kryptonite, and this is actually a turn dial lock. So a little bit less security, but what's really nice is you don't need to remember a key, but it is a hefty chain lock. So it does offer more security than say that very basic folding lock offered by electric. Stepping up the security rating, this is the Kryptonite Evolution Lock. This is still a chain lock, very similar to the last one I showed you, but it does take a key, so it ups the security a little bit. Now, these locks are heavy, but given you're on a electric bike, you can perhaps put it in a bag on the front, front or rear of your bike. And what's really nice about the chain locks is they're just completely flexible and they're pretty long. You can get the longer version of this and the reason I like this lock so much is because it's a happy medium between price as well as security. They do have the New York City locks or the NYC locks, which is the highest security you can get from Kryptonite, but it's significantly heavier than this lock. So this is the one that I recommend the most. One of the other cool accessories we want to show off for your electric bike is this electric branded portable air pump. So we found this to be a really cool accessory for say filling up bike tires, or if you're filling up a car tire, something like that. It's got some pretty cool features in it. You simply pick your profile that you want and set your PSI. So we're just going to go ahead and pick a bike. You can have pre-saved profiles in here, set it to whatever pressure you want. So set it to, we'll say 45, and you would simply push the power button. And obviously after this is clamped onto the tire, it'll fill up to that pressure and then turn itself off. This is chargeable via USB, and it also comes with a car charger, so you can plug it into your cigarette lighter inside of your car. And it also has a LED light on the top. This is just a really cool accessory that if you happen to be purchasing a electric bike, this is gonna be a really cool accessory to add to your cart to purchase with your bike. Yeah, and I'll just add, it is so convenient to not have to use a hand pump, especially when you're out on the go because yeah. the portable pumps takes a lot of effort to put a little bit of air in your tires. Or, or have a large air compressor that you have to turn on like me where the whole shop is loud, whereas this is just simply fits in your hand and is ready to go. One accessory that I feel like we haven't given enough attention to are the Senna Pies. Now Senna sells smart helmets, which we've also used that I also like, but one of the cool things with the Senna Pies is you can make any helmet smart. You can see I have two of them here, one for JT, one for me. We use these all the time when we're out mountain biking. And of course it's nice because if you go with a different friend, they can attach this to your helmet. And the other thing that sets this apart from their other smart equipment is that you can use your own helmet. Perhaps you want a MIPS rated helmet, or perhaps you have a helmet that you already have that's super comfortable. These are about $100 each and they work really well and it's super easy to hear and you don't get a lot of wind noise. You can check out the review that JT and I did on these to learn a little bit more. But regardless, if you buy the Senna Pi or their smart helmets, they are a game changer accessory and one that we use almost all the time when we're riding with multiple people. And one last thing before we turn out this accessory video is we're gonna show you how this bike folds up and fits into our infamous tub over here. 
So this is a Christmas tree tote. Um, it has been shown in, I believe now, all of our electric bike, uh, folding electric bike videos. Um, so I think we're gonna run into some limitations here with the Thule Up seat, as well as the fact that I did not fold the pedals. Most people aren't going to have the Thule Up Maxi installed, yeah. so we're gonna pop that off. We'll go ahead and pop that off real quick. Uh, JT is going to lift the bike up and lift it into the tote. Ugh. So it does, uh, the pegs are really what's limiting it here. Putting the bike in the tub, one thing we are noticing is that with the rear passenger package pegs on, you are gaining a little bit of extra width here. So it is gonna push out on your tub. It does still fit in our tub because it has some flexibility for width, but that is gonna be a limiting factor. If you are running a passenger package with the pegs, you're gonna gain that a little bit extra width and that may cause problems with you for finding a tub. Now you might be wondering why put your bike in a tub and really the reason is for transport. A lot of people are taking these bikes RVing or maybe they're just taking them out for a adventure on some trails. And what's really nice is it is much easier to carry this folding electric bike in a tote than it is to kind of lift it and awkwardly put it in the back of your vehicle. Yeah, because right now with the handles on each side, Ryan and I could pick up one or both sides and simply slide it around. And the other thing we've seen too, is we've seen some people, when you're trying to fit two bikes maybe next to each other, being that they're in a tub, you can really slide the tubs next to each other. You don't have to worry about catching your derailleur, a pedal or something like that. It really just makes, like Ryan said, traveling with an electric bike, a folding electric bike that much easier. And of course we can fold down the handlebars here as well. Gain that little bit extra height, of course. And with that bike in the tub, that pretty much wraps wraps up our electric XP 3.0 accessories video. Let us know in the comment section below what other accessories you like for your electric bike. Again, links down in the description help support the channel. Thank you so much for your support. We'll see you in the, see next, you guys one. In the next one.